Hey, did you know there's a cool feature if you just hold down the space bar, it temporarily unmutes you? I didn't know that. I just found that out. Isn't that pretty neat? You're so smart. All right. Look at that. It works. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to call the meeting to order at 6.05. And I'm going to ask that we start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Okay. Okay. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, invisible with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Um, so at this time, I would like Tim Delisle and Mary Beth Whited, both Mary Beth the incumbent, Tim, our new board member, to raise your right hand and repeat after me, please. I do hear, you can unmute yourself if you're not. I do hereby pledge and declare. I do hereby pledge, hereby and, pledge and declare. That I will support the Constitution of the United States of America. I will support, I will support the Constitution of the United States of America. And the Constitution of the State of New York. And the Constitution, and the Constitution of the State of New York. And that I will faithfully discharge and then I will faithfully discharge the duties, the duties of the position of the position of the board of education member of the board of, the board of education of member according to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations, Mary Beth, on your second term, and welcome, Tim, to your first term. Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome. At this time, I will ask Mrs. Boardman if you receive any public comment. I have not received any public comment. Okay, thank you. Resolve that the board appoint a president and vice president as selected by the Board of Education. So at this time, would somebody like to nominate somebody for president? I would like to nominate Amanda Kavanaugh for president. Okay. Any other nominations for president? Okay. Can I have a uh, Raise your hand if you would like to vote for Amanda for president, please. Do I vote for myself? <laughs> yes, you can. Yes. Hey, I see a 5 0 vote. Congratulations, Amanda. And welcome to the presidency. Sherry, thank you so much for your time as president. Look forward to working with you, Amanda. Do we have a nomination for vice president of the Board of Education? Yes, I would like to nominate Sherry. Sherry nominated. Any other nominations for vice president? Okay. All in favor of Sherry for vice president, raise your hand. I see five votes for Sherry. Any nays? Okay. At this time, I will turn the meeting over to the new president of the Board of Education, Amanda Kavanaugh. Thanks, Heather, for being the vice president for the past few years. Sorry, Dr. Kaplan, you forgot, Heather. <laughs> um, all right, so. I never forget, Heather. My apologies, Heather. I apologize. We didn't do an official roll call. Do we want to do that, Dr. Kaplan? Yes, please. Okay, new president, Mrs. Kavanaugh. Here. Vice president, Mrs. Seneca. Here. Mrs. Soroka. Mrs. White Ed, your Here. screen is confusing me. <laughs> Mr. Delisle. Here. Did I get everybody? Sherry, did I tell you? Yes. Sorry. All present. And no student rep. No student rep. 
Bye, Miranda. All right. Um, so with that, we will go to a consent agenda for items one through 37, 41 and 42. Um, all in favor, or oh, someone make a motion first. I'll make a motion. And a second? I'll second. Um, before we vote, I do have to recuse myself on one of those items, item 32. I need to recuse myself from voting. So should we pull that one out? Okay. So one through 31, skip 32, 33 through 37, 41 and 42. Yep. Okay. I'll make a new motion. Thank you. I'll second. Great. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any comment on it? Okay, with that, the motion is passed. Item 32. Someone like to make a motion? I'll make a motion. Second? I'll second. Again, oh. I'm recusing myself from a vote on that. Thank you, Mary Beth. All in favor? Aye. Anything, uh, any comments on the motion? Okay, with that, we will move forward. Um, 4142, um, for item number 38, we are gonna postpone that until next month's meeting to allow for the proper time period. Can I have a motion to table that? I'll make a motion to table item 38. Thank you. And a second? I'll second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. Any comments on the motion? All right, with that, the motion is passed. Item 39, give me just a second. Um, resolve that the board accept with thanks the donation of various books, games, and puzzles at, as outlined in the attached from Dana Kowalczyk donorschoose.org fundraiser to be given to ENL students to support learning at home as recommended by the superintendent. Can I have a motion? Yeah. No. I'll make a motion. The second? I'll second. Thank you. Um, anything on the motion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Perfect, with that the motion is passed. Item 40, resolve that the board accept with thanks the grant award gift certificate in the amount of $450 from First Book Marketplace and Pizza Hut to the Waterville City School District to be used to purchase items, books, and resources from First Book Marketplace as recommended by the superintendent. All in, um, all in favor? I'll make a no, motion. I'll make a, I'll make a motion. <laughs> I'm sorry. Second. I'll second. Anything on the motion? All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Great, with that, the motion is passed. Um, so now we will turn um, to, is there any, any board discussion? No. Nope. I, I just wanted to say um, a couple things. I just wanted to, um, you know, um, say, you know, that I appreciated um, support tonight and um, it was a pleasure to serve as president and I look forward to working with you Amanda and your new role. Um, I also wanted to thank Heather for her time um, and serving as vice president and um, just look forward to working with our new board and um, things to come. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I will second Sherry with that. Um, I appreciate everyone's support in voting tonight and congratulations to Mary Beth and Tim. Um, Tim for your new fun journey and Mary Beth for staying with us on this path. Um, I look forward to working together as a board this year. Um, now I will turn it over to Dr. Kaplan for any new business. 
So I'll turn it over to Mr. Stevens. I don't know if you have anything, Mr. Stevens, that you wanted to talk about. Uh, the only thing that I would bring up to talk about, I uh, recently I worked with uh, Capital Region BOCES, uh, safety and, and health management to review the um, protocols, if you will, that are in place for uh, training for all employees of the, of the district. It includes a 30 minute video with very specific guidelines from CDC and the uh, um, Department of Health. It has a quiz that uh, will have an, an, a self-attested, at a taste, I can't even say the word. Anyway, yeah, that uh, the employee will indicate they took the, the training and completed it. We will make sure that um, face masks and sanitizer are available for the uh, staff as they enter the building. Uh, there's some specific protocols in place, so that's, that's all ready to go. Uh, we also have a self-screening app that'll be available. Um, it is also with, with the support of Capital Region BOCES. Uh, everybody will take a self-screening on their phone uh, prior to arrival to the building, and they will attest to not having COVID in the past 14 days, not being around anybody with COVID in the last 14 days, um, and not feeling ill. Uh, and if they answer that, a little green screen will come up. They will be admitted into the building. If they don't, then it'll come up as a uh, red screen telling them to stay home. And it'll also give a report to Dr. Kaplan and I about who uh, reported each of their, each of each thing on a daily basis. Um, so I think that we're in, in pretty good shape. Reopening is, is still a hot topic. There's lots to discuss. I was on an assistant superintendent call this morning where we shared some of our, our findings as, as districts. Everybody's approaching it very similarly and we are still working hard on putting together a plan. Still nothing from the, the um, state regarding what ex what's expected on that plan but we want to get the ball rolling with, with as much information as, as we can. And the first step was getting the employee uh, training underway and the app for, for self-screening. So uh, that should be rolled out to all employees on Monday morning. So what Don's talking about is another shared service. I know we've had conversations about the different shared services we do through BOCES. And so we had BOCES and, um, Again, these are always year to year contracts. One year didn't go well, years, many years ago. And so we went to a private company. Now we're going back to BOCES because they offer so much more for um, all, you know, 24 districts. Like this video was out. Um, again, it's aidable. And um, we are trying to do as much as possible as a region the same. So we don't have one school district doing one thing and they're opening and everyone says, well, why are they opening? And we're not opening. Along with all of the things that Mr. Stevens has been doing, there's signage you'll see throughout the building, one person at, in the elevator at a time. Why, you know, there's gonna be washing your hands and face coverings and that sort of thing. So we're starting with our essential employees, the ones that are back now. And thank you to Mr. Stevens for keeping things quiet while I'm gone, because that's all I heard was how quiet it's been. So thank you. Um, our extended school year for our special needs children will be virtually only. Um, I am not comfortable bringing children back into the building. I don't think that we have it down yet where we can bring our most vulnerable children back in a setting that's safe for them. So it will be virtual. Um, we are working continuously trying to figure out how we can bring our children back in the safest manner possible while adhering to the CDC and state guidelines. I don't know what that will look like. We may not know till the 12th hour. Uh, we have some task force set up, again, looking at food service, looking at transportation, looking at classrooms, looking at instruction. Um, not a betting person, but I, I would bet we will not be able to bring every student back in September. You know, we're looking at starting with our most vulnerable and youngest children and hoping to work our way up to the older students where there's some kind of rotation going on. Um, they don't want us commingling children. 
So, you know, pulling children out from one class to work on reading with another class to work on reading, this is not what they want us to do. They want children to stay together in clusters throughout the entire school year until, you know, we have a vaccine. So it's really uncertain and, you know, it's going to be another bumpy ride and we're going to continue working with BOCES who have been just invaluable through this whole thing. I mean, there was a thousand teachers working on the website that they des designed and resources for parents and students, which is all summer long for parents to go there and do virtual field trips with their children on the BOCES website, as well as the safe, healthy risk management team we're working with. Um, so we, as soon as I continue to, you know, I'll, I'll continue with my meetings. And once Don and I have a better grip on exactly how we can, we know the, the categories we need to break people in. We just really don't have information yet on, you know, face coverings. Am I providing them? Am I providing them every single day? Are children bringing them from home? What if they forget? What if they don't? There's just so many things we don't even know where to begin. But we are working with other school districts trying to learn how um, everybody, what, what everybody's doing. If you didn't see the video that was on Twitter, it's all 24 superintendents congratulating the class of 2020 and it's really good. It's only about two minutes long. Um, our moving up ceremony, I think, was as good as we could have done. It was really awesome. The students got to have their moment with their picture and their diploma and their family. We didn't rush it. We were here from 10 in the morning till two or three in the afternoon. Um, thank you to everybody who stopped by or saw it. I mean, it was, in my opinion, as good as it could get, really. And you know, it was very bittersweet. Um, our moving up ceremonies were virtual as well. And again, as good as it could get. Um, we will continue to feed students throughout the summer like we always do. Daryl will have four or five. Don, how many? Four or five sites? Five? Five sites, one is in Five Canada. sites. Five sites. Yep. Any, any student, any, anyone under 18, you don't have to be a student. If, you, if you're in need of food or want breakfast or lunches, all you have to do is roll up. All that is on our website. Um, I understand the senior dinner went really well the other night. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Amanda, Mary Beth, whoever else was there serving. If, I, I don't know. I saw Don was there. I only saw pictures. I wasn't there. So thank you for that. I know it was very well received as well. Um, and I just want to take a look at the board goals and just quickly go over the few goals that we have. Um, our first goal, again, is to instruct our students with a rigorous standards-based curriculum. And it's ongoing. Teachers are going to develop, continue to develop their standards-based curriculum with Mr. Stevens leading that charge and the administrators through pro professional development. Teachers will continue to prioritize their instruction using various means of assessment and progress monitoring. Um, we will have curriculum that will address students' academic needs and learning deficits due to the pandemic. Our second goal that students will challenge themselves socially and intellectually based on individual needs. We will continue to immerse our high school students, our junior and senior high school students in college and career learning and create and maintain program and services that support students' academic achievement while paying close attention, especially now more than ever, to their social well-being. We're going to mobilize and utilize our support staff, our psychologists, our social workers, our counselors, our school-based health center, continue with home visits and community circles, checking on our students and staff for mental, well, mental wellness. We're going to continue to maintain our relationship with Whitney Young um, for physical, for mental and physical well-being. We will continue with the extra grant, which is our, our after-school activities. Students are going to have increased academic opportunities with the Summer Academy as well, although it will be virtual. We're hoping some of the activities will be in person next year, but we'll have two plans depending on what we do there and increase the number of students and the hours of community service. Again, all 
dependent upon the pandemic and how that plays out. And we track students' um, hours with Passport for Good. They all have the app on their phones. We will continue to make sure students are supported in a positive and safe school climate. We have a mentoring program at the junior senior high school that's going to con continue. We will continue to disaggregate student data, identify root causes and create strategies so we can address their needs and look at um, ensuring that staff is culturally proficient in their practices and raise awareness of systemic racial and social economic inequities. We already have a diversity committee with faculty. We're gonna to continue to review our own practices and policies and procedures throughout the district and ensure that we have inclusivity as well as continue to support the students and staff while raising awareness of biases and to continue to build community and unity, which we have already been doing, but obviously in these times, we're going to make sure that it's in the forefront of everything that we do. That will be offered through professional development as well. Um, and those are our goals for the next three years. And I didn't know if anybody had anything they want to ask or discuss about the district's goals. They're kind of tweaked um, because of the pandemic, both how we're going to execute them and expectations. Okay. So that's it for me. I mean, summer is going to be quiet. Obviously, we don't have any children. Bill Sheehy asked me about running his before and after care. Summer can't happen. Um, we're working on space for next year. We have to figure out. We're looking to possibly remove all teachers' desks out of their classroom to make more room to socially distance student desks. I'm not positive what it's going to look like, but I am positive that we will be um, educating children next year in a very different way than we've ever done before. That is it for me. Again, I want to welcome Tim. Looking forward to working with you. Thank you, Heather, very much for the things you do on the board and in the community, and I know that that will continue, and I appreciate it. And same, Sherry, in your new position, I'm sure it will continue all that you do for the board and the community. And Amanda, looking forward to working with you as president. Thanks, Dr. Kaplan, um, for that report. And, and thanks to Don, too. Um, I just wanted, um, before we close out, to thank everyone again for their hard work on making sure that graduation was a special time. I heard so many positive things and messages and I know that um, those that had a student graduating were really thankful for all the work that was done. So thank you. Um, also thanks to Tim Delisle at the Black Bear for helping us host a dinner on Friday night, which would have been graduation. Um, Mr. Stevens was there helping hand out dinners along with a few others. Of course, always Meg Franzak um, on the front lines to help. So I appreciate all the support so that the seniors still had some sort of enjoyment on the day that would have been their graduation. Um, I know it, it meant a lot to them. Um, just quickly want to mention that um, along with the breakfast and lunch that I know the school's doing, the dome is open every Thursday from 12 to 3. On the first and third Thursdays, they have a large food drop off. And then on the second and fourth Thursdays, um, people can just come in and grab a couple of staples that they need um, uh, on the off week. So um, that's an important resource that I just want to make sure folks know about. Is there anything else that anyone wants to mention? Before. One, while you were talking about food, uh, the veggie, what is it called? Stan, the produce man, will be in the elementary. Wait, no, nope, he was there today. So Wednesdays, he is at the elementary school parking lot for anybody that wants to pick up free produce. Awesome. Thanks, Don. And if anyone here in Waterville wants to keep themselves busy, you can watch my father-in-law on Facebook. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but he, we are doing a lot of cleaning up around the city. So I know Meg put out a call for, um, you know, students if they want hours. Obviously, this is not a school thing whatsoever. Um, but if 
kids are more than welcome, parents, teachers, whomever. Um, Monday, we are going to be down in Port Schuyler from four to seven. And then um, we're giving away hot dogs and stuff for anybody who has volunteered in the afternoon. So um, keep, keep Valit neat. Our school property looks great. Now we just need to get the rest of our city to look just as good. So um, Amanda, I do just have one other thing about graduation. I don't know if everybody got a chance to see it. And I know Ryan's not here, but I just want to commend him on his graduation speech. He did a great job, as did the um, the seniors that made a speech as well. I, it, it was a good watch. If you if you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend it. Ryan did a great job. If you want to see it, um, Waterville uh -huh. Housing, it's on their YouTube channel. If you just type in Waterville Graduation, it, it'll come up in the search bar for YouTube. Oh, great, because I was just going to ask that question because I tried to look at it last night on TV and I couldn't tell when it was going to be uh, shown. So, <laughs> Yeah, it was on the the same evening that we handed out the dinners, the 26th. It was on VLT at six o'clock that night, which would have been the time that their graduation traditionally would have been. But um, at the same time, they uploaded it to YouTube so that it can be there. Um, I'll work out some way that we can get it posted to our website so people can view it from there as well. Thank you. Awesome. Anything else before we adjourn the meeting? All righty. Can I have a motion to close the meeting at 6.31? I'll make a motion. Tim, you're allowed to you're allowed to make a motion, Tim. <laughs> What's that? Listen, I'm I'm just along for the ride on this. Would person. you like to Would you like to second the motion? <laughs> I'll second the motion. Sure, I'll, I'll second the motion. Get now me in the book. <laughs> Get your name in the minutes. That's it. Get me in the book. <laughs> I can on the motion. Remember, don't get Kevin out this weekend. <laughs> he needs a break. He He's the best. <laughs> He's the best. He's killing me with these Facebook lives. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Have a great evening. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Right. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. -bye.